previously on Auto Shop Life. What's up guys? So I just wanted to do a quick update on the uh, on the screwdriver drawer. So we finished up the plier drawers last weekend or this weekend. Um, gonna probably knock out the uh, wrench drawer and socket drawer, probably do the wrench drawer next, maybe for a part two, or maybe the socket drawer. We'll see, we'll see when I get uh, we'll see when I get what I get for those uh, for the wrench drawer. But uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update how the screwdriver drawer turned out. Uh, was able to keep the blow molded cases, but uh, check it out. See for yourself. All right, guys. So yeah, the screwdriver drawer turned out pretty slick. I was able to uh, use the blow molded cases that I really like. I think this is a better uh, alternative to screwdrivers just rolling around in the, in the drawer. Um, you know until something better comes out, but I kind of like the way this is set up Obviously, but they did fit in the shallow drawer um, Actually never even thought about it. I just kind of figured that some of them were too high I actually had to trim the bottom of a few of the cases down a little bit because when you shut it You could kind of hear it dragging it still does a little bit But I pretty much handled it. I don't want it to rub through the paint on the drawer above it so Got the screwdriver drawer all taken care of now. Pretty much almost looks like what it looked like in the other drawer, except it's a drawer higher now. Um, Snap-on pretty much sets up these toolbox to accommodate, you know, each drawer is for something special. You know, top drawer is obviously for sockets and stand-up tools. Then you got the, you know, the wrench drawer, which is a little bit wider or deeper rather, however taller. Um, and then the third one, obviously screwdriver to shallower drawer. And then, you know, the plier drawer that we got and all that stuff ended up going. With. So we'll be doing the wrench drawer next. You guys stay tuned for that. This one is in some serious need of organization. I actually have uh, more wrenches that I want to put in here. But, uh, you know, we got we to gotta make some room here. Got to get, uh, get these things definitely organized a little bit better. So we'll be doing that video real soon. Stay tuned, guys. Just kind of show you what it looks like, give you an update on the uh, screwdriver drawer. Was able to take care of that one, didn't want to bore you with just putting the blow molded cases in there. But I really like the way this one turned out. So. But alright guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on the, uh, the organization series. Um, also want to throw in a quick little... Uh, Something fun here, just wanted to uh, mention, you know, things, th hobbies we have, things we collect, things like that. You know, I obviously, I don't know if you guys can see, I obviously collect license plates. Been collecting these for a few years now. You know, I get them from customers, cars that I buy, most of the Illinois ones, some of the old dealer plates and things like that. There, I got a lot of Illinois plates, but I got a lot of other Alabama, you know, all these... Nevada, Ohio, Indiana, obviously I collect those. I know I'm not the only one, a lot of people collect license plates. But uh, I just wanted to know some of the things you guys maybe collect. You know, tell me, tell me down in the comment section. Make this a little bit fun, maybe something wild and crazy. Uh, 
pick you out of the comment section and maybe send you something cool. You know, I'll definitely give you some JRC54 stickers. You can win some stickers and then maybe we'll slide something else in there, a little something extra, make it a surprise. So leave down in the comment section crazy things that you guys collect like, uh, here's one, weird stuff. I collect uh, oil change stickers on my rack here. On one of my main racks, obviously, you know, they get too much and then I kind of pull some off. They fall off and things like that and then I just stick more on there. Been doing that for a few years. Um, oh, here's another one. Collect, uh, and I know I'm not the only one of this. Collect stickers. Here's my sticker drawer. Got a ton of them in here. Excess power batteries. Uh, core, I got stickers for my bikes. Fox Racing. I got obviously Harley Davidson, Flowmaster, Magnaflow, any really uh, exhaust system you could think of. Here's Jags. Got some Napa stickers in there. But uh, yeah, I got a ton. I got a, probably enough stickers in here to uh, sticker bomb the whole toolbox, or at least a few of them. So, but yeah, guys, I want to get some fun here. Maybe we'll do uh, like a gift card or something. We'll see. I, I'll see what I, I haven't decided yet. I'll definitely send you some JRC 54 stickers in, in the color you're choosing. But leave down in the comment section something you uh, something silly you guys collect, or even something cool. If you guys collect plates or something maybe off the law, wall, if you guys collect plates or maybe something off the wall that you know maybe you'd think no one else collects or you collect because it's a hobby of yours or something fun or maybe something of value. Obviously, you guys know I collect tools too. I collect Snap-on tools, all sorts of tools, but I also use my tools. So you know it's not a collection for me. It's something that makes me money. I collect money. <laughs> But uh, I figure I wanted to put this at the end of the video, kind of also see who's watching the full video. So obviously if you leave down in the comments, you know, suggestions, things that you guys collect, I know you're watching the full video, things like that. Get a chance to win something cool, guys. Get some stickers, you know. Uh, stickers are still for sale. Obviously if you don't want to put down in what you collect, you can still get the stickers. Shoot over to my PayPal, $5 a piece. Got the Solus Ultra giveaway coming up probably in a month from now, guys. Got the November tool giveaway at the end of this month. Make sure you guys check that video. I'll leave it in the card or maybe at the top here at the end. You'll see it. Go to that video, follow the rules, get yourself a chance to win. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. Um, get in on these tool giveaways, things like that. Thank you for your support to everybody. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.